we're going to learn uh, a polarism in uh, fantasy impromptu by Chopin. First of all, let's look how your right hand looks like. It's a group of 16 notes. So four 16 notes in every group, okay? Uh, we need to divide the time between every note into equal sections, okay? Let's divide it into three parts. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, pum, pum, four, pum, pum, one, ta, ta, two, ta, ta, three, ta, ta, four, pum, pum, okay? So this um, dividing in, into equal parts will help us to fit the left hand part, okay? So first of all, you need to uh, learn how to play this like 16 notes, um, thinking about three counts inside every note. So one, two, three, four. One, ta, ta, two, ta, ta, three, ta, ta, four, ta, ta, like a waltz, yeah? Lam, pa, pa, lam, pa, pa, lam, pa, pa, pam, pa, pa. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, for the beginning, it's good, okay? Now, we need to add our left hand part. So, the left hand part, we need to fit. So the left hand part is like a group of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it comes like less often than right hand part, right? Um, yeah. And the distance between your left hand groups, like it's like four section. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You see, but it's like really complicated. Um, the easy way to see where is your left hand coming. So first note we play together with left, left, then left, then left, then left. So red dots, it's a left hand. And let's see how it looks like with your right hand. First note in your left hand comes together. Second note goes right after your second note, yeah? Then this note right before your fourth. So one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. So and it's your left hand. Now you need to get that like, you know, dance, you know, like rhythm. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. So one, ta, 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 tam, pa, pam. Lam, pa, pa, ti, pam, pam, pa, pam. If you get that like dance rhythm, uh, it would be easier, yeah, to play. So again, then second, uh, second step, we can um, clap your right hand and then say with and in your left hand part. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. So, and is your left hand again. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. We can do it faster. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Even faster. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. So, practice this way. Then, we can do only left hand, okay? And we will count all that rhythm and we will uh, tap your left hand only here when it's one and ends, okay? One, two, and three, and four. 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 You see? So, not so bad. Now, let's try to fit it in the music, with music, yeah? We can practice left hand first. So, you remember, where is your left hand end, yeah? So, one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One,
now we can try to play with your right hand but in your right hand we have no one right in the beginning so one we will count in your left hand then two right hand three four and then we will count all that like dancey rhythm one two and three and four one two and three and four let's try one two and three and four I was doing wrong yeah it's not c sharp it's e second group again so we can do it slow first one two and three and four 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 one For example, from here, yeah, you can start from here. Like any measure, you can start counting slow tempo, then you can speed up. But don't speed up right away, just, yeah, just practice slow. One, two, and three. rhythmically correct okay so because why because we divide it into equal parts we divide your your right hand into equal parts and the left hand also so it's not like you know like approximate rhythm no it's like mathematically uh correct you know like super precise if you practice like this way you will be so great okay so keep practicing. <laughs> 